back to my channel, Francis here, and in today's video, we're going to be featuring a new series that I'm going to start here on my channel, and there it, this series is um, around on YouTube, and I find it so helpful, and I find it so entertaining, and it just covers a lot of different areas on a girl's life, so this series is going to be called Girl Talk, and in my series, we're literally going to do that. We're just going to talk about t subjects and topics that... When you're together with your girlfriends, that's what you talk about. I want you ladies to see me as that, as your girlfriend, that you can ask me any questions that you have, and ugh, and that we can share tips and we can share different um, tricks and things that we know that us girls go to. So I will try to keep it clean. This is not going to be like a like a series where um, you will ask me any questions about anything and I'm just going to be just answering. Um, we're going to keep it clean, but yes, we're going to be talking about everything a girl talks when they're with their girlfriends. We're going to be talking about hygiene. We're going to be talking about relationship, uh, flirting tips, um, relationship tips, uh, how to make your relationship last, how to... Um, how to overcome bullying, how to overcome self-esteem, anything. And I really don't want it to be just me here sitting in front of the camera talking. I want to hear your inputs. I want to hear your ideas. I want to hear what you have to say about the topic, the subject that I will be talking about. Let's get this video to as many thumbs up as we can. Yes, a lot of thumbs up. Let's do it because I really wanted to connect with you girls. I really want to connect with all the other um viewers that I have. Also, if you have not shot my lipstick lip gloss collection, make sure you do that. The lipstick is nude. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's a perfectly nude color. You can wear it with everything. goes with every skin color. So, that is down below. So, I'm telling you to do so many things before starting this channel, this video. Uh. Thumbs up, subscribe, buy my lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm just gonna put them away because I know why I keep doing this. So if you want to see um, what is in my hygiene video and we're going to be talking about everything. Yeah, that's right. So prepare yourself. Go grab a snack, a notebook, a pen, your note. Why I keep doing this? <laughs> Go grab a pen, a notebook, something and let's get this baby started. watching these videos here on YouTube. Hygiene videos for me are like fun. I like to see what other girls use and some people just take it to the extreme like JJ word on camera. Are you like what? There's people on YouTube that just curse out like nothing like F this F that F there F here F everywhere and you just get a you just, you have a JJ, so whatever, get over it. So, yes, we are going to be talking about everything. So, I really enjoy this type of videos here on YouTube. I think they're great. I think they're hilarious. And I definitely enjoy watching what other women use. So, this is how I'm going to start it off. Um, I have makeup on. I just came home from somewhere. And I'm about to jump in the shower. But it's my day to, like, literally take care of myself. So, first off, I will be taking off my makeup with makeup removing wipes. I do this... Again, all these are probably extra steps for most of you. You, Some of you just like, girl, I just get in the shower and wash myself with the soap and get the heck out. That's fine. Do you? But I don't. So I first remove my um, makeup with makeup removing wipes. Uh, simple. And these specific ones I uh, super duper adore, adore. And these are the makeup removing wipes. I'm not going to really get into the little bit um, easier. So makeup removing wipes. I start off my face, I remove everything on my face before I jump in the shower. Then I use the cleansing mincelor water to remove pretty much everything from my face. And that's how I do. So basically when I'm going into the shower, I really like to not have anything on my face. So when I'm about when I'm gonna wash my hair, I definitely use something that is going to remove pretty much every gunk and scum that I have. Scum. <laughs> gunk and oil and disgusting particles that I have on my hair because we don't want to leave any oil or anything in your hair because that definitely causes bad order on your hair. You, your hair just to be like a stunk in us and we don't want our hair to stink because I think having your hair clean and smelling good is like a must and it's a you have to. You have to, have to, have to. So I use the Neutrogena shampoo, um, and this is the anti-residue formula. So it kind of removes all that gunk and skunk on your hair. So it's pretty, pretty good to get a deep clean in your hair. So you get 
excuse me, all that disgustingness. And of course, just use any shampoo and conditioner. My preferred shampoos or conditioner are the L'Oreal. So definitely clean hair is a must. Like literally, literally a must. And if you get out of, the, if you pretty much, it's not time to wash your hair or whatever, I always recommend using dry shampoo. Something that smells really, really good, that smells fruity, and that smells like you literally just washed your hair. This is my baby. I spray this every single time on my hair. Even though I spray perfume on my hair, I definitely spray um, dry shampoo because I want that to be smelling good. And I really, I just want that I flip my hair like this and the person next to me is like, whoa girl, your hair smells good. That is what I'm, that's what us girls need to aim for. Like honestly, us girls, we flirt with our hairs. We talk with our hair. We like a boy, a pretty boy. And you see us like, aha. <laughs> yes you know and your hair needs to smell good because he's gonna be like dang um where i used to work i used to always bathe myself in shampoo i'm sorry bathe myself in bathe myself in perfume and something that i always had from my co-workers were like girl i can smell you when you walk in i knew you were walking in because i smelled you and it's not when it comes to the body uh pretty much i just use uh Soap, I don't have it with me. I didn't want to bring it out of the shower because I just think that's gross. Unless it's not in the in the box to show you. Yeah, this is the this is the, the soap I use and it's all no, I don't. <laughs> I use Dove. I love Dove for um like in for in shower stuff, like my body washes Dove. So I really enjoy the Dove um sh um what you call it? Um whoop, just went black. <laughs> Duh. The Dove soap, I really enjoy it. And what I do is I combine it with a, um, with a, um, with, with the body wash. And this body wash for me is amazing. This is the Dove Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. Um, reason why I use this is because I really, I'm not that type of girl to get out of the shower and just kind of like moisturize. I'm not. I don't, I don't, I don't have the need for it. I, my, my skin is not dry. So pretty much I moisturize when I am applying my tanning. That's pretty much it. So what I do is I like to look for a body wash that is going to moisturize my skin while I'm showering. So that's what I do. And definitely a, a, a body wash that smells good. Because of course, hello, you want to smell good. So I love the Dove. Um, it says Dove makes your skin softer and smoother after just one shower. So definitely that. Something that I use to exfoliate my skin and I highly recommend it if you have like like if you have like blackheads and stuff in your skin or you just have that cells of your skin then I highly recommend using the Sans Ives I don't know if you can see it right there the Sans Ives Fresh Green Apricot Scrub it deeply exfoliates to reveal smoothing skin um this I've used since I'm little I have a problem that when it comes summer here in Florida well pretty much every every day is summer in Florida my arms tend to start getting like those kind of like bumps I think they're called the blackheads I will call it blackheads, yeah. They just, um, it just doesn't feel good and I don't really like it. And I'm just like, ah. Uh. And I know it's because of the heat and whatever. So what I do is I use this right here. And definitely after that one wash is like, literally my skin feels smoother. And it clears up really quick. And it's not this right here. I find it that it helps me amazingly. And it's definitely a good body scrub. So you can also use it all over your body and make sure you take all those oils and dirt and, um, that sells off your skin which is pretty good it gives you like a deep clean so i love love the apricot scrub it's like my like my holy girl scrub when it comes to being in the shower so now that we're talking to be in the shower um there is girls here who use vagisil for the JJ. <gasps> dun 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 she said vajayjay hey i have one you have one you have one you have one we all girls have one all right so let's move on and let's be growing ups about it so there's girls here who use Vagisil. My personal thought on it, I don't use it. Oh my god, I really don't. Um, I'm not gonna tell you, yeah, use Vagisil because I use it because I don't. Okay, I okay, something that when I got together with my husband was really funny. He said to me, um, because I was like, babe, you shave everything. Like I was like seeing his arm and whatever. I'm like, babe, you shave everything. And he's like, girl, I'm gonna tell you something. Where there's hair, it stinks. And I'm like. What? So that kind of stuck with me. And I'm like, where there's hair thing. So yes, we're in your shower, girls, baby dolls, shave. That got to me like, it's true. Like, honestly, think about it. <laughs> it's things when you, you know, make sure you keep it clean and keep it friendly and shave. I shave. 
that's the reason why I have this one. This one right here, I got sent over and I absolutely love it. You get a trim on this side. And you get the, sh the razor on the other side. And I absolutely love it because you can trim your hairs and you can shave. So everything everything what i mean everything is everything just pretty much shave everything um armpit of a jj legs everything you need to get clear off hairs i really don't like having hairs so i just kind of like whatever <laughs> girl i tell you this was gonna get a little uncomfortable for many <laughs> so pretty much that i really enjoy um to be honest just, i really enjoy shaving <laughs> So, I, for me, when my husband told me that, I was just like, okay. So, I'm using it, honestly. Like, for me, I pretty much keep it clean. I shave. And I wash. You need to wash. You wa I wash. Honestly, I wash with my soap or I wash with my um, body wash, pretty much it. Or shampoo and conditioner. I honestly do that. I'm not going to lie. I don't use Vagisil. Um, I don't. I really don't. I don't think there's a need for it unless there's people, there's girls, honestly. Like, it's nothing bad, but it's just the way their body is, like, set up. They need to use certain things for certain things. You know what I mean? So, I don't. But if you do, then, yeah, that's fine. I don't, again, I just wash with regular soap, my body wash, or my, sh my deodorant, oh, I'm sorry, or my shampoo and conditioner, or whatever, when I'm shaving, I tend to use conditioner. I don't use, uh shaving cream because it kind of like gave me like razor bumps so i use conditioner when i'm shaving my legs and when i'm shaving under my armpit and when i'm shaving my areas so i just think that if you keep it clean believe me it's gonna help you with not having any sort of smell coming out of it and as girls you know we do we do <laughs> it's kind of funny us girls we have our menstruals and we have our monthly things that we couldn't we need to keep clean so most girls some of them use vagisil for like whenever they're like on their period which is totally fine i have a specific care routine when i'm on my period to be honest if you guys want to see that let me down below i'll let you guys know what's my um my period is skincare <laughs> my period care routine <laughs> where did i all that in this one so um i just think that i personally use wipes honestly when it comes to like cleaning down there or whatever um my house we use wipes i think wipes are just like really really good i always use i don't have i ran out i have to buy i always use the feminine the feminine wipes that i do use that I do use. I use the feminine wipes and the one I use is the always and I always keep them with me everywhere I go. I go to I keep them in my purse. I go to the bathroom somewhere and I definitely freshen up with the wipes. That I do. I recommend uh, feminine wipes are amazing. So then what I like to use is um, since we're talking about that, the feminine areas or whatever, make sure you guys always use panty liners. I cannot stress it enough. Panty liners save um, you from smelling and they save your clothes, to be honest. So panty liners are a must. I use panty liners all the time. Um, when I'm on my period, I don't use it. But when I'm off, I constantly use these things because I really don't want to like... It feels uncomfortable, honestly. If you're ovulating or whatever, it's just uncomfortable. And you kind of like start creating this sense of like, I can smell something. I People are smelling. So this pretty much um, saves you. There is um, sprays also that you can spray down there or whatever. And you can also use that. I, I do. I use a whole body spray. When I get out of the shower, now that we're talking, now I guess we are out of the shower. I like to use the secret um, helps refresh helps eliminate odor. This is just pretty much body spray and it smells really good I keep this with me in my purse. I use this on my summer essentials um, spring summer essentials I spray this with me when I get out of the shower. I spray it all over. I do spray it everywhere I don't spray it directly to my areas because I don't want to create a um, like a rash or anything But I do spray it completely and if I go out and I'm at the at a, at a restaurant or something I have to use the bathroom then I use my feminine wipes and of course always um touch up and refresh and when it comes to deodorant girls i always go on the safe side i use deodorant is a must i cannot stress it enough how embarrassing it is for you to lift your arms and it just it smells like you walk into a burger king i don't know if after this you will walk into a burger king and see burger king the same way but i'm sorry i gotta tell you i have to go with two 
I am very, I'm very picky. I sometimes I don't even smell, and I'm with my husband. I'm like, it's just, I'm like, oh god. So I keep little ones in my purse to refresh all the time, and I use the Dove Dry Spray sensitive for 48 hours and then I apply the secret deodorant on top it doesn't mean like my my sweat is like really bad it's just I that's just my pet peeve that I kind of smell on my arm pits area it's just a pet peeve that I have it's just I got to be secure so that is a must like deodorants and make sure you find a deodorant that works for you that is going to work on the long term and of course a body brush this is a must. I love using body splash. I think um, I can't have enough body splash. I, I apply this all over my hair. Get up. If I'm going to bed, this is what I use. I use the body splash and I spray it all over my body. I spray it over my hair, under my armpits, uh, everywhere. Literally everywhere. That's pretty much why I spray the body splash when I'm going to bed. If I'm going out, I don't spray the body splash. All I do is use the body spray, um, deodorant, lotion on my legs if I'm wearing shorts, I get dressed and then I apply my perfume. Now, perfume, it's a must on a girl's everyday routine. Um, I think pretty much us girls got a cover. I've seen here many girls on YouTube that have like a huge collection who are like obsessed with perfumes. And um, hey, I can't blame you. I love perfumes too. I can't have enough of perfume. Right now, the one I'm using is the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck because it's such a, it's just a beautiful such a fruity smell like it smells like flowery and fruits together and it's just pretty much for and a tip that I have for you girls I don't know if you know but I personally this is how I apply my perfume the first time around because the second time around girl I just go to town on it I'm like everywhere my husband's like oh my goodness gracious lady so I apply on the of course the is it the stress points the um sweat points or whatever I apply behind my ear I apply behind my neck. I apply on the um, this area of your arms, this area right here. And if I'm wearing shorts, I apply behind my 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 knees. Pretty much, I think these are sweat points. Like when you sweat, that's pretty much what's like gonna come out. So, and then what I do is I just kind of spray it all over, Boop. everywhere, just. Yep, that's me spraying perfume. Girl, I spray perfume everywhere. Like, there's no tomorrow. I just, I don't know if I'm just a freak like that. The perfume, and I just like, ah, I just want to smell like, ah. Uh. Girls, I recommend carrying products that you can refresh during the day. Um, this I carry with me. I carry in my purse, I carry the panty liners because you don't need to refresh. And I carry a small um, deodorant because, uh, hello, you do need to refresh. And I carry uh, my perfume and, of course, my feminine wipes, which are not these ones I don't have. I ran out, but I all use the always. So pretty much that is pretty much what I use on my hygiene. Pretty much that's it. Um, make sure you have things to refresh and, you know, keep it clean <laughs> I think that's the best thing to do just keep it clean anyways so yeah this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys it's not like a elaborate skin uh, hygiene video or whatever like we're talking about a specific thing now if you do have questions on like like I said like my period routine what I keep and what I use when I'm on my period because of course girls we have to maintain ourselves clean and whatever because period is not something that us we like it causes comfort discomfort it causes pain it causes like bloating and us to feel like blah and whatever but you can feel refreshed and you can feel alive even though when you're on your period so if you want to see that leave it down below if you have any other questions on hygiene products leave it down below remember this is going to be a series where i can communicate and connect with you guys let me know what you guys use on your hygiene routine let me know be like girl i use this for this and it worked wonders let me know i really want to know what your products are and if you have a um a specific subject that you guys want me to talk about here on girl talk all you have to do is also shoot it below and definitely we'll get to you again i will be talking about everything from uh relationships to um how to how to keep your man interested like seriously i really want to connect with you guys and really just kind of like do a girl talk like we're just girls sit with your girls and you talk like girl did you see the butt in that guy you know things like that we're girls we can have fun and just because i'm you're seeing me through youtube doesn't mean we can connect so go ahead and leave me any requests you want down below if you like this type of video if you like the girl talk series make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you give it a thumbs up a thumbs up thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button thank you so much for sticking till the end Mwah. be blessed precious pearls 
I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!